Hi guys, I'm Pete from Don't Tell The Wife and this time I'm looking at the Cybergun Desert Eagle 50A. Inside the box you don't actually get that much, of course you get your usual paperwork, a simple 15 round speed loader along with the pistol and the green gas magazine itself. The pistol itself is entirely made out of metal with of course the exceptions of those plastic grips and it makes it weigh just over 1.3 kilos or to put it another way it's heavier than two WE Glock 17s put together. The pistol itself is made by WE and licensed by Cybergun meaning you're getting all the correct trademarks on the pistol slide and even on the grips itself. The magazine that comes with it is a 27 round green gas magazine that when you're using it just slides in and out with no trouble at all. It's very little wobble when it's inserted in the pistol. However, because of how big that pistol grip has to be to house that magazine, I did find myself adjusting my grip on the pistol itself just to reach that mag catch. So you're not going to hit that mag catch accidentally anytime soon, but making fast reloads is going to be a bit of a tricky one. Like I said earlier, the top slide is completely made out of metal and it does come with some huge iron sights on top of it. But you also find that it's got that split slide you find on the real steel version. So this is really gonna help when it comes to the gas efficiency when you're shooting this thing. At the back of the slide, there are also some huge serrations that's gonna give you plenty of grip with or without gloves on when you need to cock this thing. Also, you're gonna find an ambidextrous safety catch just above it. Now, the only problem is because of the size of the thing, manipulating that is a little bit tricky if you've got small hands like me. Internally, there is an adjustable hop unit in this gun. Now, while you don't have to take the slide off to access it, which is quite nice, you do need a small Allen key to adjust it. Now, my one didn't come with one, so I did have to raid my toolbox to actually find one that fits. For the chrono, I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and some WE 2 times gas. So there's no denying it, for a pistol this is big and this is heavy. Split slide itself works really well, doesn't give you that much of a kick but just enough to actually feel it in your hands. With that split slide as well, it's going to be really good on your gas efficiency because you don't have to pull back that full metal slide on it, only that half bit here. Probably my main right is, is the pistol grip itself. Just look, that's my hand all the way around it and I just cannot get around it properly doesn't feel right. After about 5-10 minutes of shooting this, you can actually feel the weight on your wrist a little bit. So just be warned. Other than that, it's a deagle. <laughs> Who doesn't love a deagle? And that lock back as well. Just classic deagle. So it's definitely a heavy pistol and if you've got big hands, you're not going to struggle with this one at all. With that mag inserted, it does actually make it quite balanced and really fun to shoot. Pulling that trigger each time, I was getting quite a bit of kick, but because of that split slide, it wasn't throwing me off aim at all, so it's quite nice to use. If you're a deagle lover or you've got big hands, this is definitely one for your collection. As always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below, and until next time, thanks for watching.